What's up guys, it's Thomas from the Barberstyle Directory and today we're going to be talking about posture. I want to give a quick shout out to Quentin Hall. You commented about two weeks ago on a video I put out and it got a lot of likes. So shout out to you and I hope you're watching. So if you ever cut hair all day and you wonder why your lower back is hurting or your legs feel fatigued or you have neck pain, that's because you probably have bad posture. The next time you go in a barbershop, just pay attention to the way the barbers are standing and you might see a couple of variations of the things I'm about to do. So here goes. You'll either see this, wide legs with the arch in their back like this. You'll either see barbers hunched over like this or you may see barbers leaned up against their station cutting like this right here. So the proper way to stand, you want your feet to be shoulder width apart, chest up and out. So don't hunch your shoulders. Don't round your back like this. Stand up straight. Bring your shoulders up. You don't have to be up like this. Just make sure that your arms are up. The reason that you see a lot of barbers hunched over is because the chair is often too low. Make sure that the chair is as high up as possible. When you cut, you want to keep your head as parallel to the floor as possible. Now, of course, you're gonna to have to look down a little bit, but try to look down with your eyes instead of your head. One other thing that I strongly suggest all barbers invest in is a quality fatigue mat. Now the thicker, the better. So I don't suggest you cheap out and get the $50 or $60 mats they have on Amazon. Now the one that I got, it came off of Amazon, but it was the inch thick one. So the more padding you have, the less fatigue it will put on your lower back and your legs. As someone once told me, you either buy it nice or you buy it twice. So invest in quality equipment and it will help you in the long run. I touched on this in another video and I'll link it up above, but that's why it's also very important to stretch and have good shoes before you cut as well. Now I will say one thing about posture that I'm guilty of not doing myself, but it's technically the right way is how you're supposed to switch hands with the clipper. So normally start at the top, work your way around. However, once you get to this side, you're supposed to switch hands and cut with your left hand. Cutting like this is not an optimal angle and it also compromises your shoulder. Like I said, I'm guilty of doing this, but I have to teach you guys the right way to do it. If you're right-handed like me, of course it feels better to use your right dominant hand, but I have to advise you to do it the right way and switch hands once you get to this side. The last tip that I would give you guys is let the barber chair work for you. What I mean by that, Get you a comfortable position to where the lighting is best for you and don't move from that position. The chair spins around, so use the chair to your advantage. There is no reason for you to be walking from side to side in the chair. There's no reason for you to be doing it. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. If you got value out of this video, be sure to comment below. Also, comment what other types of videos you guys want to see. By the way, if you're looking for a fatigue mat, you can check out the Barber Style Directory Amazon store. It'll be linked in the description below. Anything you purchase from the Barber Style Directory Amazon store, it does help the channel. So thank you in advance for your support. If you like these types of videos, subscribe if you like. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all on the next video.